Let's dive into the story of this highly coveted error sent 1984 Lincoln sent from Philadelphia. This seemingly ordinary penny ended up selling for thousands of dollars at great collections auction. So what makes it so valuable? Here is what you need to know. Grab a strong magnifying glass or a coin microscope and take a close look at Abraham Lincoln's earlobe. If you spot any doubling and your coin is in uncirculated condition, you could be holding a gold mine. The 1984 double die of verse Lincoln Sand is considered a major variety in the Lincoln Sand series as the doubling is easily visible with naked eye. Discovered the same year it was struck, this variety remains a favorite among collectors. There are possibly several thousand examples in existence across all grades, but the doubling is most prominent on Lincoln's ear, beard and bow tie, all showing strong doubling toward the south. One of these error sends graded mean state 68 plus sold for an impressive $5,962.50 with buyer's fee. So next time you come across 1984 Lincoln Sun, take a closer look. You might just have a valuable treasure in your pocket. Now let's talk about true gem in the world of numismatics 1915 D Lincoln Sand. The D mint mark below the date indicates that this scent was struck as a Denver branch of the US mint. This issue is moderately scarce, particularly in higher grades. Many examples are less than fully struck, with reverse dies often showing signs of overuse. Full rate examples of the 1915 D. Lincoln scent are typically available in grades up to MS65, but MS66 pieces are scarce, and only a handful of finer pieces are known. The Super Gem Red coin falls within the condition senses, while struck devices complement its copper red satiny mint luster with no distracting spots graded in mint state 67 red by pcgs this stunning coin ended up selling for staggering forty eight thousand dollars the 1963 d lincoln sand graded ms67 red is superb example of mid mid 20th century coinage with its striking red luster and flawless surfaces this coin represents the pinnacle of preservation for its type graded ms67 red it features sharp detail and brilliant original red hue indicating it has never been in circulation the denver mint produced millions of these scents but only a few have survived in such pristine condition this grade makes a coin highly sought after by collectors who value its exceptional quality and eye appeal Owning 1963 D. Lincoln Sand in MS67 Red is a testament to a collector's dedication to quality and rarity. This elusive scent was sold for $14,625 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. An error penny was a small treasure. This is not a joke. 1929S over S. Lincoln Sand designated as repunched mint mark FS501 and graded MS66 red by PCGS. This is a noteworthy and highly collectible coin. This variety features a repunched S mint mark where the initial S was struck slightly off as uncorrected, creating a distinctive doubled appearance. In MS66 red condition, the coin displays a brilliant original red luster with sharp details and virtually no imperfections. Such high-grade examples are rare and highly prized among numismatists. The combination of repunched mint mark and exceptional grade makes his 1929 S over S Lincoln Sand a standout piece for any serious collection. This error sand was sold for $26,837.49 with buyer's fee, also at Great Collections Auction. This penny is as rare as Blue Moon, 1918 Lincoln Sand in uncirculated, superb gem condition, graded MS68 red by PCGS. While the 1918 Lincoln Sand is common in most grades, with mintage of over 288 million coins, it presents a significant challenge for advanced registry collectors. Red Super Gem examples are essential for high-ranking registry set, but they are rare. For the most ambitious collectors, even many superb gems won't suffice. As of June 2024, only three MS68 red coins are certified by PCGS. 
This coin features glistening untouched and spotless surfaces with warm coppery gold hue, giving it the classic blonde scent appearance favored by those who prefer naturally toned coins. The strike is sharp as a profound luster and even strong loop struggles to find any flaws. One of these exquisite coins sold for an impressive $78,000 at heritage auctions. So if you are lucky enough to come across 1918 Lincoln cent in this condition, you might be looking for a true numismatic treasure. You might be looking at a true numismatic treasure. Another sought after error cent where high value of this coin is related to its mint mark, presenting you the rare 1925S Lincoln cent with a punched mint mark S over S. Graded in mint state 64 red and brown by PCGS, this coin displays distinct double impression of S mint mark, adding to its collector's appeal. In MS64 red and brown condition, the coin showcases a mix of original red luster and attractive brown toning with strong details and minimal wear. This grade reflects a well-preserved example making it desirable for collectors interested in mint errors and varieties. The combination of the Reponch mint mark and its appealing color adds significant interest to this 1925S Lincoln scent. It was sold for $959.50 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Like many issues of 1950s, the 1957p scent is quite common in fully red gem condition due to its high mintage. However, examples at mint state 67 red level become scarce. The usual culprits are tiny black spots known as fly specks and slight staining or toning streaks. This particular specimen is one of six finest certified by PCGS. Its frosty, vibrant luster displays rich copper orange and rose red hues with no carbon spotting. The strike sharpness is equally impressive. Only few coins in this numeric grade share the plus designation, and none are finer, making this piece must have for collectors. This exceptional coin sold for $20,400 at heritage auctions. So, if you come across 1957 cents in this remarkable condition, you might be holding a valuable treasure. Thanks for exploring these incredible coins with me. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts. Got, got a question or thoughts? So, drop some in the comments. And if you are new here or haven't yet, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you are always in the loop. Take care and God's willing, see you in the next episode.